Okay, recording. Here. Okay, good afternoon. Well, in the US, good afternoon. In Nigeria, good evening. And uh, welcome to our second Destiny series for 2021. And, um, and we are starting our, out <clears throat> with the right thing we need to start out with. But before we go on, I'm just going to um, have us share a prayer together, even as we um, start. Um, Heavenly Father, we thank you again for um, just all the lovely things that you have created for us. And you made all things beautiful. You made all things perfect. And even as we learn how to get the best out of the um, gift of life and the gift of the body that you have given to us, Heavenly Father, we ask, oh God, that you'll be with us today, Lord, that um, as many people that um, are supposed to join, God, help them that they'll be able to join and not miss out on this very important thing, me message today. Um, I just pray, Lord, that um, everything will come out the way you want it. I pray for Daylene. I'm excited she's with us today. And I just ask that you will just bless her and just give her great wisdom as she teaches with me today. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> so I'm going to be introducing, we have with us, um, I call her my baby. Um, I've known her for over three years. Um, for, yeah, for almost four, about four years. And um, she's an amazing, she's just, she has such an amazing heart of, um, you know, wanting to help people heal and stay healthy. And I'm going to have her, um, when it's time to talk, I will ask her to um, introduce herself, you know, and talk it, you know, share her passion with us um, as we go on. Day, you are what we call her Day. Her name is Daylin, and um, the short form of it is Day. And so, Daylin, how are you? Hello, I am doing well, thank you. I was just Dr. K said, My name is Daylin, and I am from Costa Rica. And it's an honor for me to be here today and sharing all this information with all of you. Thank you for your time. Wonderful. And um, Day is going to be, she's amazing. Um, she's been, she's actually, <clears throat> she's uh, finishing her, she's gonna be a doctor of chiropractic in the next few months, about four months from now. And, um, but beyond just her hard work and her heart to heal as a doctor of chiropractic from the moment um, she joined Life University, she's always worked in the fitness center and um, just helping people to stay fit. But what really got my attention, you know, because from time to time, you know, she, she was my personal trainer <laughs> as well as my baby. And from time to time I have, you know, I've gone in for her to help me work out. But what really got to my heart was when I saw a class she started for those that were old, you know, the elderly, the people that were 50 and 55 and above. And um, I, I joined the class and oh my goodness, I could not believe it. The old woman, I had a, I saw a woman in the class that was 89, 89. And she was moving better than I was moving. And Daylene was so good with just walking with, with, with them. And I mean, this, this um, seniors were flexible, were doing it. And at a point I was getting tired and, and they were doing it. And they, and I said, they, you need to do this with us, you know? So I'm gonna tell you more about the program we have after this with Daylene. She has, she's going to be working with us. She has graciously agreed that she's going to be running once a week, a class with us. But before I get to that, let's start with what we have for today. So I'm excited. And I'm going to start with just showing us, and then, um, then at some point, myself and Day, we have some discussions, and then she will do some demonstrations. So I told her she has to show us what to do. And um, so I'm going to start by sharing my screen. 
Um, talk by please, can you let people in wh while um, I've made you a co-host so that as people are tr trickling in, um, you help them come in. So I'm gonna start okay. by okay. sharing my screen and uh, show you two videos um, as we start. <clears throat> can you see my can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? The uh, the YouTube video, I just want to make sure. Day, can you see the osteoporosis? No. Okay, so now I can see it. Okay, can you see that? <clears throat> yes. This elderly woman had to be taken to the hospital last night. While getting out of the tub, she had a fall and broke her hip. Because her bones are so fragile, the woman probably broke her hip first, which then caused her to fall. Like millions of people, the woman suffers from osteoporosis, a condition that leads to loss of bone mass. From the outside, osteoporotic bone is shaped like normal bone, but the inside appearance of the bone is quite different. As people age, the inside of the bones becomes more porous due to the loss of calcium and phosphate. The loss of these minerals makes the bones more prone to fracture, even during routine activities like walking, standing, or bathing. Many times, a person will sustain a fracture before becoming aware of the presence of the disease. Prevention is the best measure for treating osteoporosis by eating a recommended balanced diet, including foods with sufficient amounts of calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin D. In addition, maintaining a regular exercise program as approved by a qualified healthcare professional will help to keep the bones strong. Various medications can be used as part of the treatment for osteoporosis and should be discussed with a qualified health care professional. I have a second video for us. <clears throat> Important components which leverage and provide support to the human body. They are composed of calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium. Bones generally hold 99% of the body's calcium. Osteoporosis, or porous bone, is characterized by low bone mass and structural deterioration of bone tissue, which leads to bone fragility and increased susceptibility to fractures of the hip, spine, and wrist. Two essential cells are involved in the daily turnover of the bone, osteoblast cells and osteoclast cells. Overactivity of the osteoclast cells leads to osteoporosis. There are two types of osteoporosis, primary and secondary osteoporosis. Primary osteoporosis is in turn divided into type 1 and type 2. Symptoms of osteoporosis are swelling and joint pain, fracture, disfigurement and debilitation, and kyphosis. Osteoporosis can be diagnosed by bone densitometry, ultrasound, and by quantitative computed tomography. Osteoporosis can be treated by changes in lifestyle, like quitting smoking, regular exercise, a balanced diet, and by taking medications such as estrogen replacement therapy, biphosphonates, alendronate, and residronate, or synthetic calcitonin or parathyroid hormone supplements. So I'm gonna stop it there. Give me a moment. The bones are... Let's get back to this. So the first thing is um, we are going to be discussing, we talked about falling, that was how we started with the, the title 
we talked about um, the fact that um, increasing joint mobility to improve quality of life. And, um, you know, when, when you are very young, there are some things you don't think about when you're in your 20s or 25. There are some things you don't ever think about the fact that you might find yourself bending or you might find yourself falling. Um, in the U.S. today, you know, um, all around me, because I'm in the U.S., but I can tell you, I'm sure it's also common for those of us in Nigeria, is people, a lot of people are, are, are breaking, are falling and breaking their bones. You have a lot of people doing hip replacement um, therapy. Um, so we're doing hip replacement, getting new, uh, new um, joints in their hips, um, bones in their hips. You have people complaining of pain in the wrist, pain in the spine, and um, you have people not being able to do so much. But, you know, it's one thing to have those pains and try to live with them, but it's another thing to, to fracture them because of osteoporosis. And osteoporosis is on the increase. It's very high. Anybody can, can have osteoporosis from the age of 30, you know, the natural bone begins to lose bone cells. You begin, it begins to get more porous. And if your lifestyle and your diet is not putting in calcium and all of that and phosphorus, then the chances like you saw for the bones to begin to lose mass, but you don't even see it because it is inside. The outside looks okay because it is on the inside. And so it's important that we know what to do. They say prevention is better than trying to go and have a hip replacement or trying to go and take one therapy, hormonal replacement therapy. We can start early. For those of us that maybe are not experiencing any of those things right now, we need to start early by taking care of our bodies. For some of us, we might even be experiencing it. Some of us on this uh, platform might be in our 60s, 70s, and we're already feeling those uh, uh, cracks and those pains, you know, but there's still something that can be done. And um, a couple of things that can be done are things we are going to look at and Daylene is going to show us. Because as I said, that's part of what she does with the older, older men and women. Osteoporosis can affect men and women. So it's not a woman only thing. It's just that women experience it more because of after menopause, women begin to lose because the estrogen hormone is the hormone that helps protect against osteoporosis. It's very important. And after menopause, the woman do not have estrogen anymore. And so as a result of that, the bone, the cells that destroy bones, they go on a wild rampage. Remember from the video, there are two kinds of cells, oistoclast and oistroblast. One of them help to build bone, one of them help to destroy, you know, to, so that there's a balance. But when there's no more estrogen in the body for women, you know, as we age, then the activity of the one that destroys bone increases and the one that builds bone goes down. And that also happens generally as we age. And so, um, you know, so you see it more with women, but it is for, it happens to everybody. And as I said, you know, prevention is better than cure. Then it's even more important now with our sedentary lifestyle. The fact that as a result of COVID, many of us have started work from home, just like me. I am on this chair that you are looking at because you know, I'm also in a program and I have um, you know, school work to do. I can be on this chair that you are looking at for four hours. I cannot, not without even thinking of getting up. I can be there from seven, uh, eight, 9 a.m. in the morning till, till midnight just getting up to do other things. So many of us are now living this kind of lifestyle where we are sitting down. And so they will talk to us a bit more of what we are doing to our bodies, especially during this season. Now the impact, the body is so powerful. You will not see the impact now. It's 10 years down the line, five years down the line that you are going to see the impact. So it's important that we become rewising up. And as, as, as much as yes, many of us are are happy to be working from home. But now before movement was reduced, 
but now movement has become so reduced and we are going to see why movement is powerful. Why did God make all our bodies to have joints? So let's start with this. Let's continue with this PowerPoint quickly and then I get Day to talk to us. I like this, um, I like this uh, picture. I've been hiding from exercise. I'm in the fitness protection program. Many of us are, are in the fitness protection program in which we are couch potato or we are chair potato, just like me. Um, <clears throat> the body is the equipment that we play in, we live in, we have to function in. The stronger and more effective the body functions and move, the better we feel and the better we live. Remember from some of you that have attended the seminar before, mobility is what moves the body. Mobility is so important for things to move whether it is getting waste out of your body, your, 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 the, 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 your veins pushes blood up as you are moving. Your heart pumps blood down, but then it is blood in your veins, but it is movement. The same thing, your joint, as you move your spine back and forth, you know, it is liquid nutrition is entering into your spine and it is feeding your spine. Movement impacts every part of your body. It says, what are the benefits of movement? You know, they, uh, unfortunately now we are talking about exercises. The reason we are talking about exercises is because we are not moving. So what I really talk about is lifestyle exercises. When we are no longer into agriculture, we are no longer into um, jobs that allow us to be out in the sun and moving our joints. The world has changed, but as a result, we are suffering from the impact of that. The benefit of movement, it builds genuine body strength. It builds your movement foundation. It increases your joint strength and mobility. It increases flexibility. It increases your, the spine, the strength of your spine. And then it just improves your overall health. Now, um, this is a, an interesting concept. When you don't move, this beautiful car becomes like that. It's the same kind of car. Your joints, your body begins to, it's just like anything. If you pack a car down and you don't move it or you barely move it, it will begin to, to rust. The body has been created for motion. You can look at this beautiful um, anatomy. You can look at all the, the, the muscles. You can look at the joints everywhere you have joints. Look, look, look at your spine, for instance. Your spine is made up of joints, joints everywhere, hinge joints, you know, so that you can move up, move down, move sideways. And, you know, I, I mentioned that, look at, look at uh, this person's joint, for instance, as a result of lifestyle, the joint, your, your spine, for instance, is like the highway from your brain to every organ of your body. That is where how information from your head and then you have your spine and information passes down. Now your spine is so important because it is the highway. Imagine we are in Nigeria. We know what happens when the Badon Expressway is not working. We know where, what happens when the highway is broken. You know, you cannot get to where you are going or when the highway is blocked. It's the same way when the highway, the, the spine, is not, uh, is, is not functioning well or it is impacted, then information from your brain don't, is not able to get to the different organs easily, you know, and then those organs begin to become diseased. Now, the spine has these bones called vertebra, and then it has the disc like a cushion and, you know, to allow them move. And then you can see what happens to some people we call this, this degeneration. You know, for a lot of people, this begin to degenerate. Sometimes you might feel pain. Sometimes you might not even feel back pain. For a lot of us, as this de degenerate, those two ends begin to touch each other. And instead of this lovely cushion, the bones begin to grind at each other. And as they grind at each other, they begin to cause pain. And then they don't, and then if you don't, if you don't deal with it, after a while, this bone begins to fuse together. They actually fuse together. So you can imagine where you are supposed to have free movement. These bones now fuse together. What happens? You become stiff like this. You can't, you can't move. You now begin to walk like this because the bones have fused together. 
And that is one of the power of chiropractic. What uh, Baylin is studying and where I am currently is that um, chiropractors can actually help you to make this disc, you know, for 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 the adhesion to be to to break up and for the and for movement to begin to take place. Um, the our body was designed for movement. If we remember from babies, we crawled, you know, we we were crawling and then we squat, we roll. Look at children playing. But unfortunately, children don't play anymore. We are, the children are not crawling, squatting, and rolling anymore because of, because of video games and because of school. Most times they wake up, they're in school all day. Many of them, even during their break time, instead of them going to play, they are going for extra lessons. When they come back in the evening, you know, afternoon, after they eat, it is homework. By the time they finish homework, maybe they go and do video game. Children are no longer outside playing. My goodness, this is the worst thing we can do to our generation. When children are no longer playing because we want them to have 10 A's and we say, oh, my daughter, my son has 10 A's because the child from morning till night is either studying, studying, studying and is not moving the body and is not moving the joint. It is important, crawling, you know, crawling establishes neurological pattern. It helps squatting, rolling, pushing, pulling, rotating. All of these are important. Your daily life activity should include all of this, what we do on a daily basis to ensure that every joint in your body is being, is being affected, is moving, squatting, lunging, bending, twisting, pulling, pulling, reaching, walking, sitting, running, standing, carrying, standing on your toes, crawling, rolling. Some people will say, ah, I'm now too old to roll. Many, it's time for you to roll, to start rolling with your children on the floor. It's time for you married couples to roll with your spouse on the floor. It is not, it is part of what is going to keep you alive for a long time and keep you strong. There are four important movement areas in your body. You have the wrist and the hand, you have the shoulder, you have the hip, and you have the ankle. All of these areas are important to be moved. When we are not moving those parts as a result of sedentary lifestyle, we will lose mobility. Our joint becomes weak, we lose integrity. We lose our bodies are no longer well connected. The, our systems then begin to malfunction. And then in addition to that, you know, we now have, um, we now have, uh, what do you call it? Our diet now is not even rich in calcium and phosphorus anymore because of our lifestyle. For instance, do you know that 80% of coronary um, cardiovascular disease is preventable? 90% of diabetic is preventable. 60% of cancers are preventable. There are 1 million preventable deaths every year. So many things that we are, so we are experiencing today are preventable. I'm sharing this with you because I am also part of this whole thing. As I said, I sit down for so long. And so as I'm learning, I'm sharing so that I also encourage myself to begin to change my lifestyle. So it's not like one perfect person is talking to the unperfect world. We are all in this together. And um, when we learn, as, I, as I'm on this journey of trying to improve my, my joint mobility and my lifestyle, remember I told you that I had to go to Daylin's class. I wish I can go more because I've not gone more. Right now in the US, and I, you know, obesity is the second leading cause of preventable death. Can you imagine obesity being the cause of death? Second leading death. And for us in Nigeria, do you know that it, is, it, it has become like that also, that obesity has become a problem, you know, for us. Um, one of the valuable benefits of moving your joint is also that it helps your brain to grow neurons. Neurons are your brain cells. The more neurons you have, the more connected they have, the more, the, the healthier you are, the more you know you can do things because your brain is the, is the central CPU, the, the brain box, the center of all activity. And so movement actually causes your brain cells to grow. You generate new brain cells. 
and then um, you your brain divide you have the brain derived uh, neurotropic there are growth factors that helps your uh, helps nourishes the brain you have more of that as you as you um, what do you call it as you exercise and move you have you learn better you have improved memory you have um, you have um, clever thoughts you know as you many times, honestly, when I'm in school and I'm studying and I'm tired and I don't want to read anymore, if I decide just get up and take a walk, by the time I come back, my brain is clearer. That just tells you the power of exercise. It also increases oxygen to the brain. Remember I said, when I take a walk, just taking a walk, imagine instead of sitting down, it reduces low density lipoprotein protein, which is known to cause cardiovascular problem. And then it increases high density lipoprotein, which, are, which is called the good cholesterol, which is known to help our bodies. It increases the oxygen carrying capacity of your body. Your body is able to carry more oxygen. Your, 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 um, your what you call it, arteries expand. You know, as you're exercising, it delays atelerosclerosis, the plaques those uh, hardened plaques that forms against the wall of your artery and then blocks them and causes heart problem and causes stroke, um, um, heart attack. It actually stops, delays them because your blood is, pump, is flowing very well and they are not sticking to the walls of the artery. So it, it reduces heart attack, stroke, high blood pressure. It reduces the risk of many cancers. It reduces the risk of diabetic, decreases chances of osteoporosis and DJD, like what we saw in the spine. Can you imagine this? It, it, you know, exercise helps you improve your sleep habits. If you are not able to sleep, go take a walk. By the time you come back, you find out that you are, you want, you know, you are yawning and you want to sleep. It helps you with balance so that you have less injury. It improves your posture. It helps your muscle endurance. And you know, the benefit goes on and on. It helps you to lose weight. There's nothing as bad as having tires around you. You know, like, I mean, with all this sitting, I, I'm, you know, there's a waste, you know, you have a fat around your waist because you know, when you eat, that is the first place that the food, the, the, the sugar will go and settle in, you know? So you are carrying more weight than your body was designed to carry and as a result of that, you don't feel as good as you should feel. Then children, as I said, children need to play. We are in a world right now that children are no longer playing. And instead of this, what do we see? This is what is going on now. As I said, our children come back from school. They do, then there's assignments that they have given them from school that will take them another three hours. And then after that, they go into their room and then they are playing video games. There is, not, there is no movement anymore. In school also, look at this, this, this one is so cute. Even a toddler has been given video game to play. That is how bad it has become. And we feel, oh, at least they are not disturbing me. You know, we give them video games and you know, we feel that at least we are keeping them busy. We can, you know, but we are not helping in the long run. Because remember what I said, rolling, crawling, squatting, all of those movements are important. Climbing, we don't want them to climb, you know, because we feel that we get hot. But all of those movements are important in developing our brain, in helping us to be healthy. I like this um, thing. It says, what fits your busy schedule? and exercising one hour a day or being dead 24 hours a day, <laughs> you know. Um, also, um, and I'm going to, yes, I'm going to stop here. Yes, and then engage Daylene. And so Daylene, please, this is, um, thank you so much uh, for those that joined us late. Um, they have, um, have introduced Day. Day is, um, uh, she's finishing a doctor of chiropractic program. She's actually finished. She's just uh, doing her like uh, residency and uh, internship. And uh, she's gonna be finishing her internship in about four months time. But one of the things that I love about her is her heart 
you know, she loves um, walking to see what loves seeing people healthy. That's why she came all the way from her country, Porto. Um, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Porto Rico is always in my in my in my mouth. Uh, um, um, Costa Rica. Yeah, she came all the way from Costa Rica, you know, to the US in order to be able to be a chiropractor. But um, she had been working in the fitness center since she came in for the past four years. She has done so much work. She had at some point helped me with my training. The few times I was able to get to the fitness center. And then she hosts this uh, lovely program for older women and men, not just women, remember, men and women. And I told you for those that came early that I met when I went to our class, I met an 89 year old woman, you know, so they talk to us more about what you do, why what you do is important. And then what we need to do, what are the things that we can do easily at home that will help us, even if we cannot go to the gym. Hello, um, can you all see me well? I'm going to enlarge you. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Perfect. Okay. You think they can see me now? Hold on, I need to change the view. I don't know why it's me and you, it's supposed to be only you. Okay, I will con continue, I will try to work on it. That's fine. Well, as Dr. Kate mentioned, exercises are super important in our life. And it's not only for elderly, it's everybody. <laughs> And we all, since we are babies, we started, as she said, like crawling or trying just to reach out or just our first steps if you see a baby when they are starting to walk. To walk. And it's interesting how life uh, changes once we start like having these uh, options like watching TV or maybe um, just playing video games if we're talking about kids or even like just a simple phone. Everybody is like in this position and that actually there is a, a name for that. Like when people are just looking at their phones and they are affecting their neck. Um, and it's a trend, everybody does it. And unless you're aware of it and then you try to correct your posture. But sometimes we uh, in, like we don't think about it and we, when we see each other is just moving our neck. And if you look at me, just by doing this position, you are, we have a word for that and it's called kyphosis. Kyphosis is when the uh, upper body of your, or upper back is crunching, okay? And it's going to affect, it's going to cause you more pain. And you will say like, you wake up in the morning, maybe you are like, why is, why is this pain bothering me? But I haven't done anything. But if you look back and if you see every single day, you have been putting weight more pressure through your joints and it's causing uh, unconsciously you're causing that position and then with the time pass it's going to affect you more and more and uh, also dr k was talking about diabetes and that is another issue uh, it will cause pain what type of pain like neck and back pain like there are research proof that uh, it because um Diabetes is basically sugar in the blood, right? So if you have more sugar in the blood vessels, it will cause pain. And then your uh, disc, as Dr. K showed you before, all those different discs we have in our spine will desiccate. Desiccate is like they will not be the same, have the same caution that they had. I will show you, actually I have my spine. Okay. So these little uh, discs, as you can see here, they will start like just being like less and less and less. And when this bone and this bone are just basically together, that's when you start having pain sometimes. These little uh, things that you see here, they are called nerves. And we all have nerves in our body. Actually, through all our spine, we have nerves. And those nerves are the ones that will help us to move, like even me talking, moving my hands, fingers, every little, little detail that you do with your body, it's thanks to uh, all the uh, 
nerves that passes through your spine and goes to all the limbs, okay? So diabetes will cause pain, uh, neck pain, lumbar pain, and if you don't move, it's gonna be way worse, okay? Same if you are seated all day in the same position, you are gonna be stiff and that's gonna cause pain too. It might sound like so repetitive, but it's impressive to see how people are like just taking pain medications or painkillers just to alleviate their problem. It was interesting to hear, and I am not telling you not to do it, but it's like, if you can, at least that's my personal opinion, if you can reduce it by doing exercises or drinking more water, why not, right? And have a better quality of life. Uh, because if you uh, take a, a chemical or a painkiller, it will stop the pain from now but later on it will come back. So it's, to me, I think it's better to do something like constantly that is gonna give you a uh, better results at the end. Because for example, if you think about what you're doing right now, like even the, the fact that you are here listening to this meeting, to this information, which is super important, it's part of your goals to the future. You wanna have a better quality of life. You want to feel healthy. And, now with this problem that we are having everywhere in the world with the virus, is causing so much stress in our body. And what this, I guess like the best way in, to release it is by working out, doing something little. And by that, it means like you don't have to spend an hour working out, or even if you have a busy life because you have, let's say kids, so you have to work 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then you have to go home and do just like eat and then you will be so tired. Well, you can take at least one or two minutes every hour and just stretch. If you have to sit down, okay, let's use our hands. You can interlock your hands and this is really a great exercise by your neck here. Just right here and just pushing your uh, elbows. You can do it with me actually back. Okay, just by doing this movement, you are moving your thoracic and your shoulders as well. Our thoracic is the upper body right here. So that area is always super tight and unmovable, we could call it, because it is holding our ribs. Like all our thoracic area is always super stiff. And sometimes that's why we also have pain there because we are in this position sometimes, or we are carrying bags, or we are, if you have babies, you are holding your babies. And that's the importance of doing exercises every day, uh, or just at least moving, moving your joints, okay? I don't know if you have, let me see if you can see me better now. Is that too much light? It's better. Yeah. It's better, yeah. I don't know if you have heard about that, but um, like if you think about, if you don't move anything, it will cause, uh, atrophy and which it means like it won't it will like not move anymore okay because we is uh, a fancy word is called neuroplasticity and neuroplasticity is like when you create repetition like if you think when you started learning how to speak or how to write that is like because you train it or your mom or your dad or your professors train yourself to, okay, this is how you write the A, or this is how you speak, that this, let's say mom, and you try it one, two, three, four times, mama, say mama, mama, until the baby starts just saying by itself, just recognize the same with our bodies. It's exactly the same, okay? Maybe the first time that you have to reach up just to do this exercise, is not gonna come as far as my and it's coming right now. But that's why you are creating these ranges of motion through your body. And when you do it like just, or just making circle with your uh, shoulders, do this every single day and it will, it will become more natural. And I remember one of my um, senior citizens, I call them my seniors because I love them with all my heart. And they have taught me a lot too, because I remember one of them, uh, he used to say, daily, don't you sleep every day? Don't you eat every day? So you should exercise every day. When I heard mm -hmm. that, it just touched my heart and I will never forget those words 
because I say he's so right. At least, and as I said before, by exercising, it doesn't mean that you have to take an hour. Oh, I gotta go to the gym. No, you can do it at home, but just don't forget to do. And also it comes like something that you have to keep in mind is yeah, you exercise, but you also have to do other little details like what, like drinking water, make sure to drink enough water. And when I said that it's not about only drinking fluids, like said, oh, well, I have a cup of coffee in the morning and then some tea in the afternoon. So I got two cups of water right there with no, it's like just simple water. Okay, sometimes people don't like it, but it's so important for our lives, for our body to keep hydrated. And that's what is going to help us to our muscles to be more uh, also active and easier for you to move when you have to do things or carry things. Um, so I don't know, Dr. K, you wanna say yeah, so Can you show us some of the, you know, um, some of the simple exercises that um, we can do even while sitting or standing in our home that is simple, or even in the car, I know that there's one called the traffic light um, exercise. You have the shoulder roll, you have the, so, um, and then just show some of the stretches and, you know, what they are really doing for us. Of course. Well, something super uh, important that I like to address with my uh, population, my seniors, when they come is uh, let's work in posture, let's work with balance, uh, proprioception, because that is super important, okay, for everybody. Um, well, the traffic lights exercises, we learned that with uh, one of our doctors uh, in one of our classes, Dr. Andrews, actually, and he called it like that because when you are in the traffic line, like he said, like you can just bend your, bring your ear to your shoulder and just do it like this and wait for about 10 seconds and then come back to center and repeat and do the same to the other side, bring your shoulder to your, uh, I mean, your ear to your shoulder and wait there for 10 seconds. And same if it's rotation, okay? It's something like you can be like pushing a little bit more with your hands and hold it for about five to 10 seconds and repeat. Always do everything bilateral. That's what we learned because it, if you don't do it bilateral, especially you can create, a, it's called muscle imbalance, which means like, oh yeah, you have more, um, more mobility or range of motion towards one side, but you don't have it to the other. And that is actually when the chiropractic comes to place, okay? When you have those ranges of motion that are in, like different, like you say like, oh, I can rotate. And that's how you can figure out. Like even, you don't even have to go to a chiropractor to see it. You can find out about yourself. And then you say, okay, yeah, definitely. I need an adjustment. That's how we call it. Like if you look at the right side, and you see like, okay, I can, I feel like I can do it freely, but when you move to the left side, it's like something is stuck. You cannot move the same way. So what, what am I doing wrong, right? What, so that's when you go and see like, am I sleeping towards that side or more, or, or am I carrying things or do I have muscle imbalance? So those little details are the ones that we have to pay attention. And same, as I said, with the, thoracic area with our back, okay? Am I hunching like all day because I am using my computer? Or maybe even like just to see at your babies, if you have um, just babies around you and if you are in this position by just, oh, look at the beautiful baby, you don't realize how much pressure you are putting. So, and by I show you this exercise, by doing this, you are forcing yourself to bring your shoulders back, okay? And that's something that I always like to do. I ask them uh, to please bring your shoulders up and roll them back and down. So by having this position for 10, 20 seconds, it will create that word that, that I used before, the neuroplasticity word, which means like you are going to create that in your brain uh, that, okay, I need to bring my shoulders and this is gonna open up more your, uh, your um your breast tissue like your your chest how, yes. your chest thank you it's going to help you to breathe better you're going to feel like oh wow i feel like much like open i can breathe better i can feel better and this i said most like these are called the proper words are like um 
and not, not let me not say in quotations, but it's like um, the for the uh, pectoral is major, uh, minor are the big muscles that we have right, right here, even women and men. And that's part of the muscles that sometimes are super tight because we are here like this. Even when we sleep, sometimes people tend to sleep in this position. And so by just, just you can just, I'm gonna stand up just to show you if you wanna do it with me. But okay, opening your arms in this position, you are stretching the muscles that we have in front of our body right here. Just by making small circles, you can move your joints your shoulders, okay? You can do five circles, small circles, and then you can combine and do big circles, okay? That is like helping you. And then do it back, forward and backwards, okay? Same thing. Just bringing your arms back as much as you can and opening this chest. You can breathe in, you can use respiration as well. So you breathe in and when you breathe in, you your lungs are filling up with air. So it means that you have to, your stomach and everything has to go out, like out, come out. When you breathe out, everything comes, like your lungs are going to be with less air and then they are going to be obviously less expand. So it's okay if you just breathe in as you go back and breathe out and relax, okay? So that is amazing. You can also combine that with some uh, of our neck flexion and extension, which is when you look up and look down. So when you open up, you look up, breathe in, and then you breathe out. And that is great. You can do that, as I said, maybe every hour for at least one to two minutes. It's gonna be a huge, huge uh, change for you. And, then we have some move, uh, mobility for your elbows, like just doing these little movements. It looks so simple, people, but I promise you, like just by doing these exercises, it's gonna make you feel much better and your um, your joints will feel it. Your joints will, oh, what is going on? Oh, we are moving, we have mobility, we can do this, okay? It sounds funny, but it's important. Same for why, because if you don't have the mobility, what happens is like you will not have the same reaction if something is happening. Like if you see, for example, uh, if you have to reach out something, but if you don't have the mobility to do it as fast as you could do it, it's gonna create a problem uh, or it's you're, you're not gonna just reach it on time. Uh, so that's why it's important. Or if you have, for example, like the gel uh, above, over your head, you have to take a plate and put it of all of your head. And then if you don't have that mobility, if you, it will cause pain, we'll be like, oh, but it's different when you are used to move your body because you will, is it, oh, this is so easy, I can do it, okay? And then that is also give you more energy. It's gonna create, it's gonna feel better because you will not need somebody else to help you. You will say like, I can do my things on my own. Just by putting your shirt, it looks simple, but I promise there are some people in this world that they are not allowed because they have pain just by doing this. Ow, it hurts. And why? Because they maybe are not used to this movement or you can do this, ow, it hurts. So if you create that, um, uh, just a, like custom of working out or just doing some joint mobility is gonna be excellent. Same for your hips make some circles with your hip, just move it around, okay? You can do five to 10 circles to the right and vice versa to the left, okay? Just keep that in mind. For your hip joints, I'm just gonna, let me see if I can do this here, that you can see me there better. For your hip joints, which are here, what I almost do when you are not used to these type of movements, it's new for you, I prefer to, for you to have a chair, or something close to you where you can just hold it and be uh, aware like in case of you need it, okay? Because what I will ask you is like, just move back and forth your leg. This is uh, just moving, giving some ranges of motion to your hip joint, which is super important. You can make circles left or right, and just vice versa, or just go side to side. Okay, just go side to side. 
You can do this five to 10 times. And do it, remember, do this bilateral because that is gonna help to, um, to avoid like those muscle imbalance, okay? Just pretending to lift up your, these are called high knees, you maybe have heard about this. People like they are like high performance or uh, these uh, athletes, they will do it like jumping, but the, my purpose is not for you to jump, it's for you to create that mobility, to feel like, okay, yes, I can touch my knees. If you cannot touch your knees, it's fine. Just hold yourself in a chair or something and just do it unilateral. Do it unilateral, okay? With one hand only. So you feel like you have this support, okay? When I work with uh, in classes, I always like to, yes, we will move, do some joint mobility, but we also want to strengthen the muscles. Why? Because as I said before, is nature our body tends to come forward as we age and even you like in younger generation people in population you will see like they are like this okay so what we are trying to do is strengthening the muscle of the back of your back so we normally use since we are in a gym facilities at the school we have these elastic bands and we what we do is like okay let's wrap around and let's work. These are called W's. So it's just doing this. What happened with those people who don't have this type of elastic bands? Well, we can find something. The other day I told Dr. K, yeah, find a, uh, uh, what is the name of that, Dr. K? A scarf. Uh -huh, scarf. Or you can also use a towel. Just wrap it around you, okay? And then from here, well, this is not gonna have the same resistance as, as an elastic band, but at least you can just come here and just do the movement, okay? Just having this movement and make sure, or you can do it the first times when you are starting with this, you just do it without any resistance. I just want you to get used to the movement. Make sure that your arms are close to your side. And if you do it with me, remember the first thing I told you before, your shoulders are going up, you're gonna roll them back and down and bring your, if you are trying this with me, it would be great. So you will get used to, and you will feel what we are feeling right now. If you stick my back, try to keep your back nice and straight, okay? So this is exaggerated. I don't want you to do this. I want you to bring, let me see if you can see my, um, I'm gonna do this with, for purposes uh, of the presentation. Let me get this. Sometimes people, Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna bring something. Imagine this, and this is so popular people, this is the way that they present it. I am going to attach this to my hips, okay? Imagine that this is a glass of water, okay? If you have the wrong position, if your hips come forward, imagine that the water is gonna fall. And what happens if you, are too backward, same thing happens. So this is a good way for you to know the proper position of your hips. They have to be here, okay? Exactly straight. Imagine that you have the glass of water has to be in a straight position. So this is gonna be the first thing that you will check your hips, okay? And then your back. Make sure that your back is flat. Your stomach, we have muscles in our stomach. Okay, you sometimes might not see them, but they are there, okay? Because we all have them. So what I want you to do with your stomach is also to tie your stomach, okay? You will tie your stomach and that will help you to keep your spine flat, nice and flat. If you don't do that, then you will do this and this is wrong and this is wrong. I want you here, nice and straight. This is one part, okay? And then the other part, as I said, four shoulders up, roll them back and down. And then your, your arms will be close to your side. Okay, once you have this position and you, if you look at yourself and you start doing just this here, okay, go here and then you just do five to 10 because we are just beginning with this. If it's too easy, go up to 20, okay? I want you to make sure that you will have your shoulder blades together, okay, in the back. So 
when you did the up and back and down, your shoulder blades should be pinching each other, okay? That's when you are gonna feel the move, okay? And there, what we are doing is what we are working. Let me see. Let's see this right here. You will be working the muscles that are right here. Here is your scapula, here are the muscles. Those muscles sometimes are super weak and that's what happens with all this pain that everybody has. Everybody say, like, oh, I have here right here. What, what, what did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong or maybe yes. What happened was that you didn't exercise enough, that you are not strengthening those muscles enough and then you will have pain, okay? But that can have a solution by doing little by little every single day, a little bit of exercises, okay? And drinking a lot of water and eating well. We all have our tools. What we have to do is just to put it in practice. Something uh, very interesting that I read um, the other day uh, was about uh, actually, let me see if I have it in here and I can share it with you. It was written by, by a professional rugby player. And the person said like, what should I do to become a professional uh, rugby player? And so what he said is like, well, I will have daily commitments to diet, lift and fitness and skill specific training will make this possible. Uh, also playing every way, game with heart, confidence and desire will make this inevitable. So what I am trying to say is like, we all have goals in this life. And if we all are here, it's because we all want to have a really good lifestyle and healthy and live longer, right? Without pain, <laughs> specifically and healthy. Like you would wake up in the morning and you feel good. You feel happy, you feel motivated. How are you gonna do that? By creating a routine every single day. Okay, if you're drinking, it's not like making huge changes. You can do it little by little, but constantly the key. So if you are not drinking uh, water at all, you can put a, a reminder. Okay, I'm gonna drink at least a cup of water every day. Put a reminder. Um, if you are not moving your arms, maybe you, you work a lot, but you don't move your uh, upper body. Okay, I'm gonna add some upper body exercises but I don't know anything. Okay, well, I can help you with that. As I said before, this will help you a lot. Okay, or just moving your joints, okay? Little details like that. Oh, but I don't have the equipment. Well, you can find equipment. You're gonna work with your biceps, find something and you can just start moving it, you know? Like we have tools around us. And if you don't know how to, that's why uh, we have professionals that are here to help you. And that's why we are here today as well. So, and I don't know if Dr. K if you want me to say anything. Beautiful. Else. Thank you. That, is, that is beautiful. I think um, some of the things that you have said that is powerful because many of us think exercise is going to the gym. And um, you have said something very powerful is that what you said is do it little by little. It, what matters is consistency. It is not one hour of, <laughs> but just consistently if it's one thing you know move your just like we said move your joints that's the most important thing is not is not uh, you know running 10 miles or you know move your joints because your joints needs to be moved for you to be healthy and then do it consistently and you don't you can start little by little as i said i'm so encouraged by those women that you work with that i joined your class and I saw those old women, 89 years old, 6, 80 years old, 70 something years old. One of the women told me that she has been coming to um, the life class for 15 years. Yvonne. Mm -hmm. Yes, Yvonne. She said for 15 years, she always comes to do this exercise. And that's what has kept her alive and well like this. And so I just want to encourage us, like um, they has said, that please, you know, Traffic light exercise, do it bilaterally. When you are sitting, when you've sat down for a while, do this, just, you know, we do it, but do it know. intentionally. Um, I don't have it in my computer, but I am like trying to show you this picture. 
these are me. these are my seniors. Is it possible to see well? Hold on, let me give me a moment. Let me um let me see. I don't know why why. We can see her when she's talking. So when she's talking, yeah, we can see her. Yes, I don't know why I can't unpin. Oh. I don't know why this thing gets pinned. Remove pin. Okay, I've removed pin. Okay, good. Um, Let me see if I can put it up from my. Uh, I just wanted to show you before COVID, we we had like many of my, my I call them my seniors, <laughs> of my senior citizens coming to class. Now, what we do with some of them, uh, because some of them are. Uh, like scared of the virus and they prefer to stay at home, which I respect that a lot. And what we offer is some uh, online classes. So now we have some people that can make it a, to class and they come and other people, how can I share it this? Um, okay, just share it. You want to share it? I wanted to share the picture with, with uh, them. Yeah, you can share it. Just, um, just go down on your screen and say share screen. Look on that, look at the panel at the bottom. Oh. We see you share screen and click on share screen. Oh, I see that. Okay, let me see. Can you see that? No, you are not sure. Yes, it's coming. No. <laughs> okay. All of these people right here, they are a part of the fitness group that we have. And um, Dr. K was talking about this beautiful lady. Her name is Yvonne, right here, 89. Um, yes, then we have uh, Joanna. I think Joanna is one of her, the oldest. I believe she's in her 90s and um, it's amazing to see. They are my motivation. I can tell you the most beautiful blessing. I, I, I didn't tell you this, but I came here the, with a scholarship and that's the only way that I was able to afford this. And I think like that has been one of the beautiful blessings that I had had like obviously to have the opportunity to come and study chiropractic and also to get immersed into the uh, elderly population because they are amazing they are very constant like we meet twice a week and they are always there they like some of them will be online others will come um in person obviously they will be wearing their masks we will have like this six feet apart rule that we have at the school and they respect that. It's, it's really amazing to see that even with COVID, they still are willing to work out and to continue with their care. And, and they are eating healthy, they are drinking water. Everybody is like with their bottle, the water bottle is like, okay, let's have a little break because we need some water. And it's amazing. It's just my motivation. Um, <laughs> You mean this woman is in the 90s, right? Joanna. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I, um, you gave me a great idea that I will do it for future um, meetings, and it's to get their testimony. And so you will be able to listen to them. Because, for example, Joanna had a lot of surgeries, and one of her MDs told her, medical doctors, told her that she would not be able to walk properly because of the surgery that she had was uh, very um, delicate and it was related to her vestibular um, system. The vestibular system is the one that, we, that helped us with balance and proprioception and movement. No, I'm talking about Joanna uh, the, with the blue shirt. Um, uh, Joanna is with the glasses and blue mm -hmm. right here. Can you see Can you see the mouse when I am, the arrow that yes, I'm pointing? Okay. Yeah. okay, Joanna is a beautiful lady right here. I love her with all my heart and with a blue shirt. So she is, uh, her testimony is amazing because she says, 
and I came to work out <laughs> and I proved them wrong. <laughs> and, and she always talks about that. And I say like, wow, she doesn't come in person, but she joins our classes every single day. And, and every single day that we teach it, which are Tuesdays and Thursdays. And that's, to me, that's, that's unbelievable. Like, wow. <laughs> and also, obviously, we take care of the exercises. And I always tell them like, well, we are going to perform this exercise this way, but if you have to accommodate it to your own way, please do it. Don't feel obligated to do it this way because everybody will have different conditions. As we age, as Dr. K mentioned at the beginning, some people will have osteoporosis, other people will, will have, which is like their bones will be debilitated and they can break easily. Other people will have diabetes or maybe they had a heart attack, like a, like a mini heart attack and then they had problems or strokes or so many issues um that they could have had in their life so they know and that's super important i always ask them like okay i want you to make sure and ask your medical doctor before you come in here okay like they have to sign a liability form but we also ask them like we don't want you to do something that is going to make you hurt or is going to make you worse so worse sorry so they are also aware about that and they take care of those little details too. So it's not that they just come in and they have to perform really difficult or hard or impossible exercises. No, it's not like that. And they also know like, for example, one of um, our seniors have uh, osteoporosis. So she went to her MD and her MD told her like, oh, I don't want you to do too many rotations. I don't want you to do too many bendings or repetitive motions because that can hurt you. So she knows like if we are performing one of those exercises, she will reduce it or she will stop or I will find another exercise that is gonna help her during that time. So we also take care of those little details. Okay, um, so the question um, that um, I want us to look at, but this is beautiful, thank you. This was what motivated me to, to take this class because I met this woman, I went into the class, you invited me, and as I told them, I was motivated by the fact that they were, being, they were able to do more than I could do. I couldn't believe it. A 90 year old was moving her body more than I can. And that motivated me. And so I want to encourage us that are on this platform that that should motivate us you know, that we need to move our bodies. And that is one of the reasons why as part of our destiny series, we are actually starting a class with Daylene. She has volunteered to help us. A class with Daylene once a week to help us to move our body in simple ways. And so please, there's going to be a sign up sheet um, that will be sent out. Um, if you want to be, if you want to uh, join, it's, it's, um, it's, 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 it's voluntary, um, but you have to sign up um, to be on the Saturday. It's gonna be on Saturdays um, at um, daily, is it your 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. in the US? What time are you get, giving us? Uh, well, we have to look into that. Um, and then, yeah, we okay. talked about it. Yeah, because I, I, we talked about it, but I don't remember exactly the time we- Okay, so I'll get yeah. back to you. She will give us the time. And it's mm -hmm. mostly for anybody above, uh, it's seniors that we want to help. <laughs> but if you are not a senior, you, you might be able to sneak in. If I, if I, I will, I will look at it and decide if you will sneak in or not. But it is for seniors, people from 50 and above. But as I said, if you are not up to that, you know, if you reach out to me, I will see if you really need to sneak in. But, um, but she's, but I'm excited at what she wants to help us with in the Destiny Talk series. And so please, um, if you want, you can make use of that opportunity. Somebody asked a question um, that his knees um, hurts him so much. He has knee, knee pain. Um, what exercises can he do for his knees? Do you have any recommendation? Yeah, first of all, uh, it's important to know where, where the pain is, uh, if it's only one knee or is it bilateral, both knees? Also, 
we need to know like how long has it been to see if it's chronic, if it's acute. It's important to know if you feel uh, or ha what happened, why did that cause that pain? Also, if you have any type of disease. So it's, it's interesting because when a person has a specific pain, it's more than that. And as a chiropractor, uh, that's part of our job to when I, we have a patient, we ask them, like they said, oh, my knee hurts. Okay, how did that happen? We take a history. So when did that happen? When did you start feeling that pain? Uh, what time of the day are you feeling that pain? Did you fall? Um, did you do anything that caused it? What makes it worse? What makes it better? Is that at night? Is that in the morning? Uh, also, have you seen any doctor for this? Are you taking any pain medication for this? Do you have any type of uh, metabolic disease? When we say that is like arthritis or something that can be causing that inflammation in your joints or are you um, uh, like overweight? So, so many things, are you eating too much sugar? Are you eating uh, too, so many, I, there are so many questions that uh, we should ask before uh, recommending you a specific type of exercise. Uh, so that's important to know. And also as part of our job or our duty, that what we, that's what I do, at least at the fitness center, that's our part of our policy. We ask the every person is to sign a liability form, which means like, okay, you, you talk to your medical doctor first and they approved you to do a, or, or told you not to do this and these exercises. So you will know what to do or what not to do because there are so many great exercises but if your pain is in a specific site it's going to make it makes it worse so we have to be very careful when we suggest exercises because every exercise is going to help people differently so that we also have to know where the pain is to also yeah. tell you like well we we should address you differently or don't do this exercise Let's change it. So maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, the person to consult with you on, on WhatsApp um, to, so that you can ask more questions. I know the person, you can ask more questions, but you see, this is why we are blessed. Am I, are we not blessed that most times you just have a fitness instructor teaching you about exercise? I have a chiropractor that is trained in fitness. That is double blessing. You know, because she's not just a fitness instructor. She's a she's a, she's a, um, she's a, um, in her residency to become a doctor of chiropractic in about four months. You know, and so she understands the mechan the mechanics of the body. She understands the body. She so she's not you know. So we really appreciate that you know, um, God, you are you are a gift to us, and you are a gift to people to the world. You know, choosing to do this you know even though you are a doctor of chiropractic and just focusing on helping people with with their movement and we are with their bodies you know i i know that um being a chiropractor is hard work you know um you you know you you put in so much so god bless you um so um, um when you see if you want to sign up please when you see the notice um sign up uh, we know how many people and then we get um our darling Daylin to um, help us out. I'm going to round up this session by um, playing uh, an exercise. Um, um, it's called Straighten Up America. Um, this is part of what they teach. Well, um, this is this was designed by the school. Um, so I want everybody. There is no way everybody to get up from wherever you are. And, um, and you do this exercise, get up wherever you are. It's called Straighten Up America. It's just for about five minutes or two minutes. Give me a moment. Let me stop sharing this. Oh, says video is unavailable. Uh, 
What did I do wrong? Okay, this is the video I'm looking at. You can see your screen. I am Dr. Ron Kirk, and we're at the Life University. Sport Health Science Center today. We're going to show you some things that'll be. Can't see your screen. I can't see your screen. Eagle. Everybody say. Hello. Eagle. Okay. Can't see your screen. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hand. I hear you, Tope. Let me share my screen. It's like, yeah, we can't see your screen. We can't see your screen. This is how simple things are. It's not 10 minutes exercise. These are two minutes things you can do. And, um, I, you know, so I'm going to play this, okay. I am Dr. Ron Kirk and we're at the Life University Sport Health Science Center today. We're gonna to show you some things that'll help you be kind to your spine. We're gonna start out first with the eagle. Everybody say eagle. Eagle. Here we go, breathing in. Out. Breathing in through the nose to warm and humidify the air. Breathing in. And out. We'll do this three times. Three times an eagle. One more time. This is just designed to take us out of the slump of cyberspace. So that one was called the eagle. Now let's go to the hummingbird. Bring your shoulders back, looking up. Brace your core just a little bit. Here we go. We're bringing our arms up and back, and we're taking it to the side. It's called the happy hummingbird. This is just really good for forward shoulder posture. All day long in cyberspace, we just, we sit slumped over it really, really stresses and strains our spine. We'll do this for about 15 seconds. All right, let's take it side to side. We spend about $200 billion every year in the US on spine disorders, three times more than dental disorders. All right, after the hummingbird, give yourselves a hand guys, so far so good. All right, now after the hummingbird's simplest flying friend, the floater, the smallest. You know these go from big to small. You'll notice this, the eagle, the hummingbird. Now we're doing the butterfly, just like brushing your teeth. You do this every day. Coming back, gently pressing your head into your hands. This pulls us out of forward head posture. Forward head posture all day long in cyberspace, connected, uh, listening to a lecture, sitting, bored, whatever we're doing, we tend to slouch with our head forward. Oh, and that feels so good. That feels so good. Let's do that one more time. So just by remembrance, so we're going from big to small. We start out with the eagle, breathing it in. This is a general spinal stretch, nice breathing exercise. Deep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, three times. And this is just a real simple program. Straighten up program, posture pod to help us take care of our spine. Let's go to the hummingbird. Think kind of between your blades and you go side to side. Bring your shoulder blades together. Everybody say between the blades. Between the blades. All right, very nice. Now let's go back, let's float. Wings spread, gently pressing, bringing us out of the slumpville, into upville, and we can rise above the cloud. You know, we're in the cyberspace so much, we can rise above the cloud. We must take care of our spine. If we don't, uh, we'll have real, real trouble. And it's the major disability, spine disability, the major non-lethal disability around the planet. That's according to the World Health Organization. Thanks so much for joining us. Give, us, give yourselves a hand. Wow. 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 So you can see uh, what we are talking here is this can save your, this can save a life. Um, simple. Your spine, remember at the beginning, for those that came in late, your spine is the highway from your brain to your organs. You must take care of your spine. And all this sitting down and all of that does not help our spine. Um, so today, I'm really blessed. Thank you so much. I'm really blessed. This was totally a blessing. Oh. Thank you, thank you so much. Daylin, everyone is thanking, is appreciating you. Please, uh, you can type in things in the chat um, just to appreciate Dr. 
dailing because <laughs> you already yeah. dr dailing i mean yeah 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 already dr Not dailing. Yet. soon it's coming in uh, in a few months you know um, months. your graduation is a few it's just uh, in june right right graduation is in june so you're already dr dailing to us so thank you so much um, thank you all for being here and um, for sharing all this important information with us in in closing please still if in closing i just want to remind us about some events coming up as we close and i just want to remind us also again remember um somebody called me yesterday and said dr k i always um you're always doing this series and i know that you know um it takes a lot to prepare for those that have done training before you will know that each of these series does not takes me nothing less than three hours or four hours to put together it's not just like okay you just come and teach and so please i want to encourage us you know we've been saying it you've been joining please give towards this there are people that are working Tokpe or motola they are working to make this happen you know so look you know they, are, they they collect allowance for doing this so I will please encourage you, you know, when you see a donate button, go there and give towards to this, you know, so that it doesn't stop because I mean, um, we can, you know, we can decide that, okay, we can't afford to do it anymore. So I'm encouraging you, please um, support um, all the work, all these people are putting in and um, support it. Um, we have the detox challenge is coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's amazing. It's starting on Tuesday. For those in Nigeria, if you still want to join, we've, we have only about maybe four more detox packages left. I want to encourage you, honestly, this, this helped me. This transformed my body. Um, and the good thing is that you are getting it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a steal for you because we are getting Dr. Joe. First of all, we pulled his hand we twisted his hand and got him to, to give us his product at a discount of 35%. That is number one. Then number two, we got him to also come and be taking us through a challenge, consulting and teaching us through a challenge, you know, for 10 days. I mean, it's gonna show up like four times. I mean, that is, um, um, you know, and we are not paying for that. You know, so if you want to do this detox, you still have I have a few products left. Um, it is detox package is normally two forty seven dollars, but because we got him, we said we wanted him to support us in Nigeria. It gave us thirty five percent discount, and that came to hundred and um eighty six or so dollars uh, um, plus shipping. Um, so we still have just a few pack left that if you want to be part of it, the detox challenge, please um, um, just um, send us a message and you will go and, you go and pay on his website and then we can send you the package. It's starting on Tuesday. We also have the emotional detox group start, that has started, um, but not that group is starting next week. You know, it's a lovely group where it's a small group of just about eight, eight people with a with a therapist where you sit down using the group dynamics amazing group dynamics because you find that we are more similar than we are different in our experiences to experience to walk through issues to talk about issues and to experience healing as you move into the new year as you end as you walk through this year um so the emotional detox group has started or, is, or an, another group is starting um you can and in, interesting we have a discount for nigeria which is um, um about i think 60 percent discount for this group um so i want to encourage you to take part in the group if you need need it we all need it at some point or to share the link with someone that will need it um i think that is um, all the major announcements we have for today and um that is what we have for today let me see i think yeah that is it hold on let me yes that is it that is all the announcement we have for today so remember um, um if you want to sign up for um the class uh, that we are going to be having with Dave, 
um, and then remember, you know, support the project. And then remember the detox challenge is still is about to start. And uh, that's the second one. We had the first one and it was amazing. Okay, um, that is all. Thank, thank you so much. Let me stop sharing this and let me stop recording and then the uh, program is officially over today then let me stop recording